says, Shalom, Shalom. All right, Shalom, Akim. I give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, but Shem Rakaka Dutch. Double honor to our apostles of Great Millstone, the elders of Jim Mess. So I take you out from the gym, push these people to the end. So, Brock, to Yahweh, Brock, to Yahweh Shai, Brock, to Yahweh, Brock, to Yahweh Shai, Brock, to Yahweh Shai, Brock, to Yahweh Shai. All right, let's continue. Let's go on. And here we are, another week. I hear prophesying the downfall of this wicked ass Jewish kingdom, like the scripture says. You know what? Let me begin with the scripture. I kind of like it around here, but at the same time, I want to get back downtown. To that shit settle down downtown. If it ever does, I'm going back down there because that seems to be the, uh, the chief place of concourse. You know, Broad Street, High Street, you know. But you know, the word still goes out. Like the scripture says, it goes out. It, it, the word doesn't come back, you know, void, you know. Beautiful scripture, man. That, that's a, that's a uh, faith, that's a faith builder, that scripture, man. You know, how the word goes out in, you know, in your mind. Because we in these carnal minds, we think that, you know, because a lot of people ain't in the midst of us uh, listening you know, like they like to do, bring their chairs on and eat their popcorn and, and get entertained, entertained. That's what the people, you know, that's really the minds of the people, man. The majority of the people, the two thirds of the people, man, the, the, the truth of the Lord is entertaining to them. So, like I said, just because there's a lot, a lot of people not out here in the midst, in, in the midst, in our midst, you know, doesn't mean the word isn't still in effect. Believe me, these eyes of these people that set sight, set their eyes on you, man, believe me. It, um, They've been marked, man, whether they like it or not, man. Everybody that rides by, everybody that rides by in these cars, man, all of these mom, especially the wicked-ass jakes, man, you know, they look at you like, what that fuck, what that nigga doing? That's how they look at you, man. Like, what that nigga doing, man? What that nigga doing, man? You know? If you ain't doing exactly the same thing they're doing out here, uh, uh, protesting for that wicked-ass nigga, George Floyd, you know, who was a lifetime criminal, who's a people. Who is a like I said a wicked ass Israelite, a wicked ass Jake. I ain't even going to call him an Israelite. I'm just going to call him a Jake, man. And you know what Jake means? Jake for short. You know, it's a special thing to be called an Israelite. Man. You know, that's a beautiful thing to be called an Israelite. So I'm just going to leave it at Jake. You know, let them figure out what the hell what the, what what the hell Jake means. So let me grab this scripture. Another week, man. Another week. That means a closer we are to the queen. To, the, to this queendom ending, man. Another week passed, that means we're close, we're that much closer to becoming gods again. You know? Just like our Lord Yahweh Shai, just like he, you know, just like he, uh, uh, just like he, uh, just like he said, man. Didn't I say that ye are all gods? And all of you are the children of the Most High? That's what the Lord said, man. Nigga woman over there, she spit, man. You know, ain't nothing like a woman that drinks and smokes out in public and spits. Nothing worse than that, man. Ugh. She might be decent if you give her a shower and give her some decent wear from the thrift store. <laughs> anyway, let me grab this scripture. This beautiful scripture, man. What's up, man? Y'all know about the RFID chip? Nope. That's right. See that? Oh, well, y'all hear that? The lady up the street poured over. Praise you the Lord. You know, praise you the Lord, you know. Give her thumbs up to me. You know? Until she come over here and actually hear the message, then <laughs> let's see if that praise the Lord and thumbs up will still be in effect. You know what I mean? But, oh, anyway, let me get this scripture. There's actually a couple of them I wanted to get. And this is coming in under the radar, too. This is coming in under the radar because in the midst of all this COVID madness, 
in the midst of this COVID madness, according to the Bible, World War III, the War of Armageddon is about to take place. The War of Armageddon, you know the War of Armageddon is going to bring the turbo nuclear missiles to this place. You know about the RFID chick, my man? You don't know? All right. So like I said, in the midst of all this madness that's going on, with all these wicked ass cops killing Israelites, with all these wicked ass cops killing Israelites, this virus, these so-called uh, viruses, this pandemic that's in the that's been that's going down. Everybody's forgetting what's going on in the Middle East. Everybody's forgetting what's going on in the Middle East, man. You know, right now Israel is making moves. You know, the false Jews, pursuant to uh, Revelation. 2 and 9 to 3 and 9. Let me just get it. Because these devils, man, them devils over there in, in the land of Israel that's right now defiling the hell out of our land. You know? Here we go. This is Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right now, them same people that are the synagogue of Satan or in the Middle East about to start World War III. So right now those fake ass Jews is about to, what they call annex um, uh, the land of Palestine. They're about to kick those Palestinians. Those, those, those so-called Palestinians, but they're not Palestinians. Those motherfuckers ain't nothing but Arabs, man. You know, those Arabs over there and those Edomites over there, they're occupying our land. You know, they're fouling the hell out of them. They're not with their idols, their false ass gods and shit. Eating all kind of forms of uh, homosexuality, you know, eating all kind of foul, foul, filthy, That's what's going on in the Holy Land right now, you know. So right now, these people are about to kickstart this this World War III, man. You know, all hell is going to come into the area, and they want it's going to it's going to explode. It's going to explode, man. Everybody totally forgot what's going. On. Everybody's eyes is not well. Actually, the men of the Lord eyes is on the Middle East. We're on all this, man. Most High said, watch, you know, because the kingdom is already prepared for you, watch, you know, and we watch and we watch and we're literally, I mean, one of our names, other than being called prophets, man, we are watchmen also. We are watching, watching, watching what? We're watchmen of uh, the watching of, uh, our people and their wickedness, the things, all the wickedness that these people are into, you know, and one of the main wickedness these people are into is uh, um, showing love for uh, showing love for a, a criminal you know i don't want to bear fault witness but you know in all reality these people are murderers man you know the wickedness our people into they're all murderers man and the same thing with our people when they they chose to have the lord crucified but they asked for that wicked that murderer to be released instead you know but let me in anyway this is malachi 401 for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven the scripture said, Behold, the days cometh that shall burn as an oven. We're talking about right here, man. Nowhere else. You know? We're actually parts of different parts of the earth that's going to get hit with thermonuclear missiles. And this motherfucker's going to literally burn the hell up, man. So behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It says, And all the proud, yea, who the proud? The sin. Driving around, they find fancy trucks, 50, 60, 7 thousand dollar trucks with their 10 year leases, with their 10 year loans. You know, they probably get loans longer than 10 years, man. You wonder how these devils can afford this, these expensive cars and trucks that they drive. These motherfuckers got 10 plus year, 10 year loans and, and more, man. 10 year, can you imagine? With low interest. See, that's the benefits of being a devil in this world, man. You get benefits. Anyway, so it says, Before behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven in all the proud gate, and all that do wickedly. Doing wickedly? What's doing wickedly? What does he mean by doing wickedly, man? You know? Transgressions of the law. It's simple. Those are those that are doing wickedly, the two-thirds. Now with the other nations, because it ain't for them, the two-thirds. Continually doing wickedly, man. Continually into wickedness, man. You know? 
One of the main wickedness is coming up against this truth being a fucking scoffer. You know? Let me show you something. Hold up. And all the proud shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Now let me show you something. So it's best to just keep the back of your mouth shut and, and just shut the fuck up and learn. You know? You hear the prophecies, you hear the warning, man. You sound the alarm. It's time to get right, but no. So it says. The point is in here, but I like to read all this second Peter's uh, three. Because it's all fire, man, you know? It's all meat. It's all fire, man. It's literal fire. Alright? But the point, like I said, is in the. Um, The point I'm looking for is right here. Oh, so I can, the point is in three. Three and three. Okay, let me start at one. This is Second Peter's one, three and one. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by right way of remembrance. The only way of right remembrance, only way you can be, uh, um, that, that day of remembrance can be, uh, uh, be given to you if you had it in the past in previous lives. Which brings up another subject of reincarnation, alright? Alright? So the same thing that the, 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 the spirit of the prophet is subject unto the prophets, meaning have a dominion over that spirit, you know? So that's the only way you're going to be reminded, oh, I knew this before, you want to act on it. You'll remember it, so you had it before in previous lives, alright? So it says, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Remember, see? Spoken before by the holy prophets. All right? Before the holy prophets and all of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this verse, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts. All right? Walking after their own lusts. And one of the main scoffers is, Man, you, it's hard to believe it, but some, one of the main scoffers is motherfuckers that claim to be Israelites, man. You know? They're the main ones that's on the comment board uh, coming up against this truth. Scoffing, man. You know? Blaspheming in the name of the Lord. Blaspheming. Blaspheming the hell out of the name of the Lord. Man. You know? When it's clearly that the name was given to the men of the Lord. Well, if you do, you in denial and not using the name of the Lord, that means you're not a prophet. That means you're a false prophet. That's just plain and simple. That's obvious, man. All right. So scoffers. It says, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust. Their lust is that money. Money, bitches, money and bitches, man. You know, just like the mentality of a thug love nigga. Bitches, money and bitches. It's all they live for. Money, bitches, and drugs. Not necessarily in that order, but they all got their lust. And some of them desire drugs getting high more than money <laughs> but actually money is your first love then all the rest drugs but they like to indulge in drugs and women man they, that just follows man but regardless they're all eating their feeding they lust man and they can care less about the lord they can care less about the lord so it says and saying where is the promise of his coming you know this ain't happened yet in their mind, you know, because they see us out here on these highways and byways long enough. They don't see shit happen. We see things happen, but all right, you know about that all body chip, man. You know it's coming into play, right? What's that? I don't know what he said. I literally have no clue. I have no clue what he said. It's as if he, um, you know, how they sound like he in the movies, oh, that's exactly what it sounds like. Man, I got to play the video back when you get home and listen just to just try, I hope it picks it up, man. What the he said? Oh, it's him, man, man. I don't know what the hell he said. Man. Wow. Anyway, let me get back into this. And saying, where's the promise of his coming? 
But since the fathers, the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For they, they for this they willingly are ignorant of. That by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, were by the world that then was being overflown with water perished. Same thing that happened when, the, when Noah was out prophesying and building the ark. We're spiritually building that ark now, but the same thing with Noah, man. People wouldn't have no business, didn't have the sense enough to sit down and listen, man. You know, they didn't, they didn't have the sense enough to take that warning, take heed to the warning, man. And prepare the, their houses, them and their houses, man. That's what this is all about. It's all about repent. You know, it's all about, this is all about we getting you, coming out here and getting you to, to repent for being a piece of shit. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? You know? That's part of the prophet. That's part of the message. Repent. And we all got something to repent from. We all into, you know, we all got something to repent from. That's why we come out here doing this work, giving you the message. We're washing our hands, man. We, we, we repent, you know. We don't just repent vocally, orally, you know. This is something that's sincerely in the hearts of a, a righteous man, you know. He feels bad with the things he's done before. Feel unclean from the things we've done before, you know. That's just keeping it real, you know? Just keeping it real. All right, so. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word of kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. An ungodly man is an example of ungodly men is that General Yohanna. You know, an, uh, an example of an ungodly man is um uh, is um Nate. You know, Bishop Nate. <laughs> Bishop Nate. That's an example of an ungodly man. An example of an ungodly man is Peraza. That's an example we have here in Columbus, Ohio. Peraza. He's a he's the head of a church here in Columbus, man. You know, ain't doing no work, but he put a video, a minute video up. Were they getting off the airplane over in Mexico, in Peru, or, or somewhere they don't travel in the plane as if that's doing the damn work? I mean, they're doing the work as far as pushing out Israel. Israel, Israel, Israel. That's like I said, man, if you're not pushing that name, like the scripture of the Lord said, then, you know, who are you? Who are you? Or, you know, I don't, I've never known you, you know? You don't push his name. I, I, I've never known. Let me get the scripture. Let me get the scripture. That's Matthews. That's Matthews. I'm trying to hold this Peters. I'm trying to hold this Peters. This is some fire, man. Let me just get it real quick. I like bringing this out too. This is Matthew 7. And, um, you know, and 15 says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. This is all playing into what I'm talking about as far as referring to those niggas that don't even use the Lord's name. That actually says we don't even have the Lord's name. Which that's nothing scriptural about that. Only way you can prove that in scriptures is you butcher the scriptures, man. You know? That's a, that's a perfect example of not having no understanding the scriptures, or either you don't know or you willingly selling the fuck out, man. You know? Not willingly going to push the Lord's name. The Lord said he's gonna put men out here in these streets that's gonna confess his name. You know? The name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says. You shall know them by their fruits, you know, especially you question them by any simple thing in the, uh, in the, in the scriptures, like asking them, uh, um, how are we saved? They, they're, they teach you that the law, the law, no, it's not scripture. You're saved through faith, man. You know about the all party shit, man? You know about the all party shit? You know about the all party shit? RFID chip. Here we go. This is prophesied. This is the 
Riches do with um, they do with potions. You know, potions, medicines. Alright? And that's where the word comes from. What you, you know, the pharmacy, pharmacia. Yeah, I was trying to be my buzz, man. That's all right, man. But I was I was trying to listen to what you trying to say. I feel you though. You have a good day though, man. You too. Give it to him, whatever, man. He out of here. That's what we do, man. That's what we do. We just give it to him. Whether they want to hear it or not. Whether they wake up or not. Who was I at? Uh, oh, Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. All right. Switching gears again. Switching gears again. All right. Like I said, if you're not pushing the Lord's name, that's where I was talking about the good spirit of the Lord, the spirit of his name, the power and the spirit of his name. Because his name carries power, man. You know, it's beautiful. It carries power. Um, if you're not pushing his name, then, hey, un um, you know, unfortunately for you, you're not doing his work. And that's just simply how it is. You're not doing the work, you know. So it says... Okay, you should know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit. An example of that is keeping the doing the truth, pushing the truth, and keeping the one hundred. Simple as that. Keep pushing the truth and keeping the one hundred. You know, and doing the work continuously, in season and out of season. Man. You know, you know, not buying fancy three, four, five, six thousand dollar garments. Just like your neighbor, just like your boy. Y'all shit looks the same, you know? That's not the point of the It's kind of funny, though. Okay, it says, Do men gather grapes or thorns and figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but every corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. You know? A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down. And that's what's going to come. And they're going to get hooked down courtesy of these thermonuclear missiles, man. Thermonuclear missiles are going to mow these motherfuckers the wicked down, man. The wicked is going to get vaporized. You know? Ain't don't nothing feel better than coming out here and telling you how you're going to get out. How you're going to get pushed up out of this world, man. You know? Anybody that got a, uh, 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 a pure, clean heart that's in its right state of mind, man. You're sick and tired of all this wicked shit going on. You're sick and tired of being oppressed, man. You're sick and tired of being getting sick. You know? You're sick and tired of these injuries, man. Your body all fucked. You get, man, you know, who wants to live like this? You know? You know? You got them injuries. Your body's so fucked up, you can't even get no good sleep. You can't even get comfortable to get a good night's sleep. You know? And it's only through the spirit of Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai that we're able to even maintain ourselves, man. You know? You know? So an hour here, two hours there. I mean, I guess through the night it'll add up. You know? You might have to, you might take a nap later on in the day. You know? Well, Esau, Esau out here going, the only one energy out here to run on this goddamn concrete. You got to get out of your mind. So, Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, you gotta know his name, man. Lord is not his name. You know? But, ne but then again, it right here, it's so all caps. So, not everyone that's saying unto me, Yahweh, Yahweh, but then again, those groups don't even literally say the name, man. They deny, they denial the name, or they blast him the hell out of the name. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, doing the will, and that don't take much of imagination to figure that out, with the Father's will, you know? We know his will, you know? We know the Lebanese Father's will, so we're supposed to do his will, man. You know, destroy this name, destroy this world through the Spirit, by pushing his name, pushing his word, man. What should happen on this earth until the real men 
of the Lord got out here in mass numbers and the Lord was hearing it from above, man. He's hearing his name. He's hearing it constantly. More and more of the fruit that are waking up. More and more of the righteous fruit that are waking up. How much of how size in the spirit world he's hearing those names. Look at God, he's hearing the name, man. So he's making things happen, man. You know? So it's gonna be more mass death, mass deaths. You know, George Floyd is just an example of a wicked nigga dying. So all you go, all, all the people is witnessing is the judgment of the Lord, man. That's the Lord's will is to destroy the wicked. that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. And ain't none no motherfucker in a goddamn church doing the will of the heavenly Father. Look at Esau. The day is hell. The day is hell now. When that day comes, these motherfuckers that run constantly, they're going to get tired after running the block, man. You know, they're going to faint on these streets. You know, the Spirit of the Lord going to chase these motherfuckers down. You know, they think they can run marathons, but the Spirit of the Lord going to run these people down, man. You know, you don't want to be on the bad side of the house of the King of Terror. You know? Your ultimate goal when you come out here to teach you is to do the work, you know, to do the opposite, you know. You know, to get on the good side of the Lord. That's all we come out of here to do to get you to repent of being a piece of shit, you know? You get from being a piece of shit, all right? So it says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? So who, could, who does that sound like? So it says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? I mean, their their, their name, they re, the name is to these fools, the name is the name, you know? The name, the name. Or they tell you, we don't have the name yet, we're going to get the name of the kingdom. I think they're going off, man. Totally going off. Have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? You know? Showing up at, uh, Showing up at the riots in mass numbers like you're, you're pain as hell, man. That's some vain shit. Showing up in that mass numbers at the riots, like that's crazy, man. That is literally crazy, man. Trying to be seen of men, you know. Trying to please the eyes of these wicked ass men. These are damn about these wicked motherfuckers, cause ain't none of these wicked number, wicked ass niggas. And who cares how many numbers they assemble themselves in? Ain't none of them can save you, man. None of them in, uh, coming together in the mass numbers that they got, nothing, they came to save each other. Now I'm believing blasphemy fucking goddamn devil. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. I knew you, I never knew, you know? Just like an example with, um, what's an example with, uh, I'm not sure if it's Paul. You know, let me see if I can find it. By the Lord's, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, man. Uh, um, let me just get it. That could be the book of Acts. Spirit, the, the Spirit said to the food, I never, I don't know. Who are you? Paul, I know. You're how shy, I know, but who are you? <laughs> That's a bad scripture, man. Let me see if I can find it though. I think it's Acts though. Let me keep this mouth. You know what? I already know where I'm at. Let me see if I can find this. Let me look it up. Let me look, let me look it up.
X19. That was the Exorcist. <laughs> okay, X1910, and this continued by the space of two years so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Yahweh Shai, both Jews and Greeks. And the Most High wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul. And that's the time we're living in, man. The men of the Lord, man, that's one of the beautiful things about this. The men of the Lord are going to give, be given powers, man, to be doing miracles, man. And the more and more closer we get to the end, we're going to be seeing some some uh some spiritual some spiritual things take place some beautiful spiritual things man you know so it's best you, like i said man you want to labor to be immortal not immortal you know and in, and being immor immortal is you're going to be given powers man powers to come to overcome these, these devils and their wicked works but remember when all hell breaks loose the lord said i must lift up a standard against them his standard is literally the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, spiritual power. Some always, for some reason, I always, I always come back to that every week. That spiritual power, man. That spiritual power, man. It's, all it is is just the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? So, and the most high world, special miracles by the hand of Paul. So that from his body were brought unto the sick, handkerchiefs and aprons, and the disease departed from them. And the evil spirits went out of them. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, sounds like bugged out Israelites. That here, to, hey, this Bible brings out the, the weirdos, man. <laughs> hey, the, the, this wisdom, the way it affected the world, it it's not just in brought to bring out the the right the righteous men, the prophets, the true watchmen. It brought out a lot of weirdos along with it. Weirdos, man. <laughs> oh, freaks and goblins and shit. Where was I at? Exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord. Yahweh Shai saying, We adjure you by Yahweh Shai whom Paul preached. And there were seven sons of one Skeva, Siva, a Jew, a chief of the priests, who did so. And the evil spirits answered and said, I mean, when, like I said, you you better watch what you say and watch what you do around the men of the Lord, man. Because the spirits are camping around the true men of the Lord, the true watchmen. You know? You better watch what you say and watch what you do, man. You know? Because you offend the heavenly father, man, you want to, hey, like I said, man, you, you don't want to fuck with the kings of terrors. The kings of terror, men that come out here and that are at peace. They're at peace giving you good tidings, giving you the good, the gospel, you know, giving you the good news. These people want to, want to threaten your lives, want to physically bring harm to you, you know, want to totally blaspheme this word, the truth in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, so if you don't have the, if you're under the protection of the Lord, man, if you don't have his protection, man, then, you know, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man, then you're, you're just totally fucked, you know, and these demons, like the demons got a hold of the people of this world, two-thirds of this world, these, these demons gonna totally, these demons gonna rape your ass, you know, some literal, literally, some literal, you know, that demon ain't literally coming down raping you, but they get in the minds of another wicked ass nigga to rape, you know? That's how the angels deal with you. They get in the minds. You know? They don't physically come do the shit themselves. But that day is coming when the angels, these demons gonna appear, and they're gonna do some hard, vicious work. They're gonna do some lot of killing, man. That's what's coming. So it says, and there were seven, and the evil spirit answered and said, and this is to the, the weirdos, the exorcists. It says, Yahweh Shai I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? You know, who are ye, the scripture says. What's up, man? Y'all know about that RFID chip, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's about to come into play. Yeah. This devil created it, man. He's going to make it happen. Yeah. And we ain't going to have no choice. That's Either you're going to get it or you're not. That's that race war, man. 
That's oh yeah, that's brutal. That's all part of prophecy, man. It's gotta happen. All right. I feel you. What? Right, there you go. Hey, you know, the dude said, um, ain't nobody scared. He mentioned the race war. He mentioned the race war. He knows that race war is coming. That's what the dude in the car just said when he stopped. And he said, ain't nobody scared. Hey, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a mistake to even make that comment. You know, not to have the Lord's protection and say you're not scared. Man, I already said it several times. The king of terror. And this is the perfect example of the works of the king of terror, man. You know? Alasadya interpreted demon-like power. That's what these nations call our power. Yahweh. Demon, a demon-like power. You know? A demon-like power that'll throw you into a wood chipper. You know? A wood, you know what a wood chipper is? It's how these landscapers get rid of wood, you know? And they turn it into shreds. They turn it into, um, they turn it into, um, mulch, you know, for your gardens. The Lord will throw you into a wood shed shredder, man. And all that'll look like that'll come out is, um, is ham, it'll look like hamburger meat that comes out the other end, you know? And that's how these devils get rid of a lot of their bodies. A lot of these bodies that's been sacrificed, you know, that's been murdered, these devils and these Masons are doing rituals in their in their synagogues, in their in their secret halls. They get rid of the bodies, man, because you say people are running these factories, warehouses, meat factories, you know. They got all the access to get rid of the body to continue on so they can continue on their wickedness. That's actually the, the spirit of the left hand side of the Heavenly Father, man. Which is which is straight up some scary shit to deal with. You understand what I'm saying? And this is another, see, those of us in the know, what I'm reading right here in Acts 19, we know that it's the Heavenly Father that puts demons on these people, man. We know that. So here we go, it says, And the evil spirit answered and said, Yeah, how shy I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? Ain't out here doing no work. Those are the ones that come out here to work, but they, oh, man, I can profit from this. You know, that's in their mind. I can profit from this. I can blow up from this. I can get paid from this. My cousin, wicked-ass cousin, who's an actual pastor, before he became, went to a seminary school and learned that bullshit. It's the first thing he said to me, man. Man, I got to get into church, man. I, that's a good way I can make some money. That's the first thing that came out of his mind. Then he didn't mention nothing about serving the Lord in righteousness. Not, didn't mention anything about becoming a new man. You know, none of them, none of, none of the talk of a real righteous man in the in the right state of mind. His motives was to get paid, man. So it says, the house I know, but who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, slut. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them. Why? Let me come back to this. Why? Perfect example. Perfect example. This word, man. Pushing this word, baby. Pushing this word. Let me get this. Let me find this. This is just one of my favorite ones. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them. Second Timothy. Um, Baruch. Uh, uh, Sharak. Um, Proverbs. Go to every book in the Bible. It's, the name is stressed. The name is stressed. So it says Proverbs 18 and 10. The name, the name, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Again, simple as A, B, and C, bro. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right? Lord said, I never knew you. 
Who are you? I never knew you. You know? We making things happen by calling out in the name of Yahweh but Shem Yahweh Shah. You know? Pushing his truth, man, doing his work. That's a sixty thousand dollar truck that nigga drive. Got he sixty thousand dollar truck. It could be more than that. Actually, to be honest with you, brand new. Probably got all the uh, all the wells and uh, bells and whistles in it. And he got twenty two inch rims on. That could have been bigger rims on. Man, this is Jake. You really think Jake want this shit to be destroyed, man? It means he can't have his caddy truck anymore. <laughs> the name. Anyway, back into the name. So the righteous run into it. So the righteous run into it. What the rest gonna do? They gonna cling on to all the mother gods that the Lord says give no mention of. Don't say give no mention of these other of, of the names of other gods, you know? Don't even give mention of them, man. Uh, Buddha. I mean like in prayer. I could give you an example of Buddha, Allah. You know, Jesus. Jesus. They name being thrown up every fucking word and ain't no power coming out of it. Here you got the masses of the wicked throwing up that name Jesus. Hell, you even got the other nations right along with you throwing up that goddamn name Jesus, man. And ain't no power coming out of it. None. No wisdom. None. So the righteous running into our safe. So, example. Exhibit, exhibit A of the opposite of the righteous, the unrighteous, the wicked, you know, this is what happened to the wicked, and and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them, that's from denying the name, or trying to profit from the name, or blaspheming the name, and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. So the spirits whoop their ass, man. You know what? Acts 19 and uh, 16. We go to Blue Hill. Let me show you something here. Taking a sweet time. Come on. Come on. Let's see if I can reset this shit. Okay, this, I'm going into Acts 19 and 16. The man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. I'm kind of curious with naked though and wounded. Man, 
don't know what that means. Well, let me just go into one room. Wounded. Naked and wounded. That's funny. Wounded. In the Greek is traumatizo. Trauma. Traumatizo. To wound. Okay. Um, going to a more. To inflict a wound. To inflict. To inflict. That means the angels, these demons, the spirits, they whoop their ass, man. I was just curious what it's going to go to and how. How specific can it get, but to inflict, you know? So how's that for Jesus is all good? How's that? <laughs> how's, how's Proverbs 1 uh, works for you that Jesus is all good, you know? How does that work for you? You know, but let me get the book of Job. That's what I want to do. I mentioned RFID chip to him. He's talking about the race war. Show you Jake don't have no attention. He don't pay attention. He don't listen. He don't listen too well. A lot of people in the world can't stomach being around me, man, because this is all I talk about. You know? This is all I talk about. This is it. This is it, man. So it's kind of to them which makes no sense, but to a man, it, it, it's depressing. I understand women that want to hear this all the time, but I got to give it to them bitches too. I give it to these bitches too. But to them, it's depressing hearing this word. They're like they're eating my jaw with a strap. Wow. Oh, what do I get? I was getting a book of Joe. Always, baby. Always, baby. Jesus is good. Always, baby. Depending on your perspective. You know? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. But this ain't really what I wanted, but I want to read to you how Jesus is always good. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil, no evil touch you. In famine he shall redeem you. This is sloppy. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. How is that for good? At destruction and famine, the Lord is going to laugh. All right. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. All right, let me just get to my point. What I'm going to do. Let me just get my kings of the, the, the king of terror. The king of terror. Here we go. This is Job 18. For the wicked, the snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. 
The stress shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin, even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Now, the point is up. Listen, the, the snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side. On every side. So, and this is literal. Everywhere on this planet Earth, man, if you don't have the protection, if you don't have that name, you know, and that faith, that, that name and faith goes hand in hand. If you lack it, then you're going to be in trouble, man. You know, there ain't going to be nowhere you can hide. There ain't going to be nowhere you can really get some sleep, get some rest, man. Because this is what I'm saying. The Spirit of the Lord is a coming on this earth, man. You know, and He made all this. The animals, beasts, birds, fish, He made it all, man. He's going to put in His Spirit to terrorize these people, man. And the Scriptures mention the teeth of wild beasts. Book of Jeremiah mentions it. Uh, the wisdom of Solomon. I might as well just get a few of them. But let me read this. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. All right? It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. His roots shall be dried up beneath, and above all shall above shall his branches be cut off hold up this is this is Job 15 18 and 15 Job 18 and 15 let me get this Like an Edomite, mic, but dude keeps every week I'm out here, man. He walks by, he always speaks, man. He always speaks, man. You know? And that's much more than, you know, these niggas out here that call themselves brothers, man. Black brothers. They don't even speak to you. Come on, some brotherly love. Ain't no goddamn brotherly love out here. All right, here we go. 18. Okay, here we go. Here we go, finally. I wanted to look up Brimstone. Let me go to the B letter also. Brimstone. Where they say brimstone is. Rough, rough. Rough reef. Brimstone. The Greek is rough reef. With brimstone of judgment. Yeah, how is breath? That's what it says. What could that possibly be? That sounds like those that nuke that fire that's going to sweep through this place. Let me go into this new letter Bible, Brimstone. Who even knows if it's even in here? Here we go, Brimstone. Tropical. 